What's good everyone, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can build N8 and AI agent the right way with a Superbase vector store and with Postgres chat memory because for the longest time I have been seeing videos where people build AI agents with window buffer memory and I kept thinking that this actually can't be the best way there should be a better way to build AI agents on N8N and actually there is so I actually found out this approach from Cole Medin so check out his video um, if you want but basically he goes over this uh, setup uh, unfortunately he doesn't do it step by step so I decided I'm gonna do it step by step because it took some time for me to figure out what is the right way to build this out so I'm hoping this is gonna help out other people as well as it did to me and also if you have ever any questions about automations uh, workflows there's a link down in my description below through where you can reach out to me so we can work together or we can have a discussion if you ever uh, feel like it so yeah um, there's a link reach out if you ever want and this is basically the setup um, the, the most suitable I think setup for N8 and AI agent that I saw uh, so as you can see as I mentioned it uses Postgres chat memory let me zoom in super base vector store and also it updates um, the files from the Google Drive so if you ever update a file in the Google Drive it then updates the vector store and you have the most up-to-date information where when you are chatting with your uh, AI agent um, because most of the tutorials show uh, basically just adding new files on top of it and then you have duplicated information which I don't think is the best uh, way to go about it so yeah this is gonna be the setup so let's uh, start and let's build it uh, step by step so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get get the when chat message received trigger because we're gonna be chatting with our agent then we're going to add the AI agent itself. So for the agent and prompt, I'm going to leave it as is. The only other option that I'm going to add is a system message. Uh, let me copy what I had previously. I'm just going to paste it. So the system message goes like this. You're a helpful personal assistant who helps to answer questions from company documents about marketing campaigns so in this case I'm specifically going to be adding PDF documents for the AI agent um, to answer questions from uh, for the chat model I'm gonna select open AI uh, because that's what I use usually of course you can use another one um, so I'm gonna create a new credential since I mentioned that's gonna be step by step uh, so let's go to the API keys uh, create new secret key let's just write test, create the secret key, copy it, go here, paste it, save it, and we have it. So yeah, let's rename it so I would know that it's a test and I need to delete it later. Good, we have the open chat open AI chat bottle added now what we're gonna need to do is add the Postgres chat memory and when you add it you will have to create a new credential as well so to do that we're gonna use Superbase which I mentioned so right now I already have an account so if you don't just register um, and go to the dashboard once you come into the dashboard you will notice that I have a project for you you probably won't have any projects if you're doing this for the first time so I'm gonna set up uh, a new project so uh, let's say n8n AI agent and let's put the date of today so what it is it's 2024 11 17 while I'm filming this video for the region um, I always pick the default one I don't really change anything here Oh, and password, yeah, that's quite important. So let me create a password. And this is really important that you remember this password because we're gonna be using right away for the Postgres uh, credential. So let's 
click this out and we have all of the information about the project. So what you will need to do here, go to the project settings and now go to the configuration and database. Over here, you will have, um, was it this one? Project settings, database. Oh, it's still setting up the project, so I have to wait a bit until I have the credentials for the Postgres. So the project finished setting up, and as you can see, I have all of the connection parameters. So again, go to the project settings, database. If you don't see it, uh, it might be that project is still being set up. So just give it some uh, time. I waited for probably like three or four minutes, and now it's here. Uh, so first, what we're gonna need to do is copy all of the details. So first of all, host. Go back to your workflow, uh, paste the information here. Uh, the database, I think it's gonna be Postgres, yes. Then copy the port, go back, scroll down, paste the port in. Then the, pa the user, yeah, first the user, paste it in. And then the password that you used for creating the, the project. And let's say N A N T A I A I agent video for the name, so I would know actually which connection it is. Okay, we connected successfully. And for this, um, basically, we don't really have to do anything uh, right now. Uh, the N A N T chat histories is going to be created automatically when we start chatting with our A I agent. So at this point, we have to. We don't have to change anything in the table name, so we'll leave it as it is. And the for context window length, you can adjust this uh, by your needs. So for example, in this case, let's say we can add 10. So that was quite easy. As you can see, we already have the Postgres chat memory from Superbase, which is already better than uh, window buffer memory. And another thing that we're gonna need to set up is, um, vector store tool so yeah let's do that let's add the vector store tool for the name so the name as you can see is a name of a vector store in my case i named it company docs and for the description i can add contains company documents about the late, latest campaigns or maybe let's say marketing campaigns and we can leave it as it is and now uh, for the model we can add again open AI chat model so we already added the credentials so we can add test and for the model I'm probably gonna pick uh, GPT-40 mini uh, because it's the cheapest one and it's quite powerful uh, for here yeah I kept it the same uh, so actually right now, like for GPT-40, uh, it's very good for testing because it's very cheap. And for the vector store, so now we're gonna need to add the Superbase vector store. Um, so for the operation mode, select retrieve documents for agent chain, but you'll notice that we need to select a table. And of course, in this case, uh, we already have the uh, table name but let's say I need to set up credentials from zero. So you will notice that there are docs, so you can open the docs. There's like a lot of information about here. Uh, but what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to, again, project settings in the Superbase API and the project URL. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the uh, project URL. Then I'm come, gonna come here, I'm gonna paste it and then I need a service role secret. So again, I'm gonna go back, reveal it, copy it, paste it here, and save it. So we actually successfully connected. And again, I didn't change the name. We can probably change it so it will be clear that it is for the video. So let's say video, like so. Um, and now, yeah, there's not gonna be any tables because the following thing that we need to do is to actually um, create the table uh, inside Superbase. So 
if you go into the docs under the uh, Superbase Vector Store and click here, you're going to be redirected to this page where then there's going to be a quick start for setting up your Vector Store. So click on this one and you will be presented with an SQL for uh, creating the documents uh, table and also creating a function that uh, basically matches the documents and helps you retrieve the information. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click copy and then I'm going to head back to the Superbase. Then look for SQL editor and the good thing is that you don't need to understand any SQL but essentially this uh, creates a table, this creates a function, it's actually quite straightforward and then you just hit run. I made a major issue because I highlighted this and it didn't understand what I was trying to run so when running this don't highlight anything just now hit run and success no rows returned so it basically ran all of the code previously I just highlighted this to show you uh, that I was talking about function and it tried to run only this so don't do that but now we're gonna go back uh, click here on one accident uh, if you go to the super base actually in table editor you will notice that we have a table added and it has ID content metadata and embedding the vector so again let's go back and let's click on here and it should be that the table appeared so it appeared for uh, the table name so we have the documents under the options we have to select the query name and uh, leave it as it is by default it will select the match documents which is again the function um, where was where those uh, documents so this was the function from this particular query so when you're doing that just select it as it is and you won't have to do anything else and now for the embeddings Again, we're going to add OpenAI. So select the credential. I'm going to select test. This was the video that uh, the credential that we built throughout this video. And for the model, uh, text embedding three small. This is again is selected by default and I'm going to leave it as it is. And that's pretty much it when it comes to setting up your vector uh, super base vector store and Postgres chat memory. So in most cases, this is gonna be better than using window buffer memory. Um, and I think it's more sustainable approach in the long term for an AI agent. So that was quite quick. Um, basically you just need to copy and paste certain SQL into the Superbase render query. And that's when you are actually done. So uh, in this video, we'll build the first part of the actual AI agent. In the second video, I'm going to show how you can uh, manage the files in your Superbase vector uh, so you wouldn't have duplicated information. Also, I'm going to put the video in the card, so check it out. And if you liked it, hit, hit a like, hit subscribe, and see you in the next one.